everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday, hump day, happy Wednesday. And today I was getting ready, I have an appointment at 11 for waxing. <laughs> Ow! But anyway, I don't do under my arms or my legs anymore because I couldn't take, I had done it for a year and I still had not gotten to that point where, you know, where I had gotten them all on the same cycle and I had a long time with no hair. And I just couldn't do that, especially under my arms or my legs. So I'm now just doing the other. <laughs> so I'm doing that at 11 and I was getting dressed and I was using some makeup that I bought at Ulta yesterday and I like it. So I thought I would share it with you. It's this look that I have on today. I decided to go with no lashes. I do still have on some wing liner, but it's the pencil. It's that one I love, the L'Oreal. It's kind of like a Kajal type pencil. And, um, but anyway, I was in there to get a new Clarisonic brush. I had switched to just the, I don't know if it was the sensitive or the regular one. It was the one with the black ring and I don't like that one as much as the Radiance. So I switched to that one and I was walking around and I saw this palette. It says Away We Glow from NYX and oh my baby's crying hold on okay Bridgie had to get off the bed I don't know if she you need to go outside no she's got to go she always has to check Brooke's room to make sure Brooke has not left her door open because she'll go in there and get stuff and bring it out anyway um the my inspiration yesterday is um, this look, this makeup look. And if any of you can give me tips, I did not do it today. I did not achieve it. I went way overboard. I really wasn't trying it, but this is what I had on my mind yesterday is just some kind of like faded red lip and um, just kind of glowy and so that was what I wanted to go for. Any tips or anybody that you know that does a tutorial like this, it's kind of like I like that it's makeup, it's made up, but it's not over the top. And um, so that's what was the inspiration for my lips. So I bought this lip liner, which is the NYX or NYX Burgundy. And it's so pretty. So what I did today is just put that on all over and then I blended it or I didn't I blended it out a little bit but I mostly really really took a lot off I made it real faded and I debated on whether to just wear that but it was just a little too faded so I put one of these over it which I just bought a few of these yesterday this is 906 burnished blush which I think is so appropriate that's such an appropriate name for this color. So I'm going to swatch this over. And this is the L'Oreal, I believe they're called Gloss Balms, uh, Color Riche Shine. <laughs> I'm getting confused with the either the Dior or the YSL, but I love these. So many of you told me, I know Tammy told me to try these a long time ago, and I did when they first came out, but for some reason I didn't like it. I don't know if I tried the wrong color. But I, when I saw this, I thought, hmm. And I did get, a lot of you have told me to get the peach. I got the peach, and then I got another pink one. And I've got the fawn, too, which I really like. So that is my lip for the day. And then this eye. And then when I was at the counter, I saw this little, cutest, sweetest, sleek palette. And I always did like sleek shadows, and I had so many of those, and I ended up giving them to one of my good friends, and I've kind of missed a few of them because sleek does the most perfect shimmery light colors. They're the best like inner corner colors, so I grabbed this. Is that not the cutest thing? So this color right here is what I have on my um, like inner corner. Sorry, of course it's cloudy. It has been like literally flooding here. It's been raining so much. So that's what I have there and for highlight. And um, so I'm not even sure how much this was. It was at the front, so I don't know. And then last night I had to go to Walgreens because I needed to get Brooke some, she uses that ACT mouthwash for her teeth. 
and what else? Oh, something else. Oh, I needed to get something else. Anyway, um, so this blush was on sale, and it is the, I wonder, did I get this at Walgreens or at, I think I did, but it's the Butter Blush, and it is in rosy pink, and it's kind of like a cool tone pink blush. And I love these cool tone, almost lilac-y pink blushes in the summer. I just think they look so good on top of like a bronzy skin, a bronzy foundation and bronzer and stuff. And so I love that. And boy, it smells so good. It's like summertime here. So I think that is it for the stuff that I got yesterday. Um, I'll put everything else that I'm wearing down below. And I do have on the Chanel velvet matte um, foundation. I'm going to try to start um, wearing maybe a different foundation almost every day and go through them again and see which ones I like and which ones I don't. And I ended up, I like this one. I think it's really pretty. And just try some different stuff for you guys to see. Okay. And then another thing that I have on today is a lot of times, I don't know if you guys are like me, but if I don't know what to wear, a lot of times I'll either go on um, Pinterest or Instagram and see if I can get any inspiration. And, um, you know, I want something different. And so I clicked on Pinterest today and here was this picture of, I cannot remember her name. What is her name? She was with Banana Republic for a long time. Oh my goodness. You guys know who it is. I'll put the name down below. But I saw this picture and I thought, cool, that's something I haven't ever worn. And I had the stuff to do this. So that's what I have on today. And I'll do a, an outfit of the day. I needed, I need to go belt shopping. I might see what uh, Kelly has at Oliver. And because um, I'd like to have, I didn't want to wear my Gucci belt. I'd like to have maybe a thinner belt than what I've got on today. So that's my inspiration. And I was just thinking, let me go on my Instagram. You know, blogging has become such a thing now. And um, there's so many good bloggers out there. Like I saw at Reward Style, just beautiful girls. I mean, just beautiful girls everywhere with long, beautiful hair. And, but you'll know what I mean. And I'm guilty of this too, because I see that stuff and I want it, but it seems like, you know, it's all the same thing kind of over and over. And so when I get kind of bored of that, I, let me see if I can just, um, there is a couple of Instagrams that I really like that are not just, you know, what you see on every. Okay, so here is one from Denise, my friend Denise. She does a lot of Instagram outfits of the day, and she is good about incorporating old stuff with new stuff and just giving ideas for a look. Um, she has a lot of new stuff too, so you would like her, like, if you want to, um, you know, um, you know, buy some of the stuff she's wearing, but she does incorporate some old stuff and she does give you some ideas. There's two of them that I'm trying to think of. I know one of them, oh, here's one of them. I don't even know how to pronounce the name of it, but this is one of my favorites. Refer, Referencias, I'm not sure, but they don't even have that many followers for how good they are. But, um, and I'll put these down below too. But see how it is actual, just street style real street style. Somebody with like, not just wearing what's popular and what's, you know, necessarily available right now, but really doing some different things. And I'll tell you another person who is really good at that. She has a video now out on slip dresses. And you know, that was just, there's nothing I love more than a slip dress. And so I am going to try some of her styles that she did, but um, goodness gracious. And of course I can't, when I get under pressure, I can't remember their names, but I will put her name down below too. But um, let me just pull up one of these to just show you something that is inspiring to me. I mean, just little things. It doesn't even have to be a whole outfit, but you know, just wearing like that dress with those boots, even though I never would do that just because I don't feel like my body type looks good in that. Um, or this, Look at that, the Gucci shoes with the long dress. 
um, I'll find one more. This, this one has a lot of the, just, I mean, that is just something I love up and down. That is something that would inspire me so much to go get one of my t-shirts, my faux fur, pick out a pair of glasses kind of like that, or look for some, even if I wanted to buy something. That is the kind of stuff that just inspires me so much. Like these shoes. And it might not always be something, like I said, available right now, but you can, you know, that's what's fun to me is trying to copy the style and, um, or find what they're wearing. Okay, now I know how to find um, the next person that is really, I've told her so many times I wanted to tell you guys about her. And um, find agency. Okay, now let me look her up real quick. I'm still, push all the wrong buttons. Okay. Hers, and she puts a lot of good like quotes and stuff in here too, and a lot of other inspirational things. But here it is, find agency. And it's the same thing. Let me find, um, okay. This is, you know, just me up and down. So that would come in so handy because I might think, oh, I want to wear my hair up today. My hair looks like trash, you know, it's because I'm tr doing it natural now and not using any heat products. So that would be perfect. That would say, oh, I can wear my hair up today with one of my dresses and, um, like, and the jewelry and everything. Um, even like this, love that nail polish. Um, let's see. Let me find something good, something that would really, I have always loved this picture. I have it saved. I just love, I love army green jackets and I love how that one is kind of decorated. Um, you guys know I love this with the joggers and the t-shirt. Um, it just gives you good ideas. And you know, when you're kind of bored of seeing the same bag like I showed you last the last video or you're tired of seeing the same thing it's just and like little stuff like this you know with the bangles oh I can't stop I just love it it's so hair knot with the earrings anyway just wanted to give you a few of those things that if you're like me and you get in a rut oh my gosh look at this girl's hair oh ginger hair that is some gorgeous hair just beautiful so, um, oh gosh, I can't stop. And look at this, like your hair in a bow and then put your brooch in the middle. That's what's really fun to me. That's why I love style books. If, if ever I'm just feeling, you know, like I want to um, get creative, look at this, right up my alley. The boyfriend jeans with the strappy shoes. And this is another thing, like somebody told me that wearing my jeans rolled up was so out. Nothing is. Do what you want to do. And I have to remind myself of that so much. And I think things like this help me. And like uh, Marissa Webb, she's another one that you can go on her Instagram or, her, or just look her up on Pinterest. And it will be so inspiring because she takes all these different things, like a blazer with a belt and jeans and cool shoes and it's just really really inspiring and um, so I'm hoping that I can do that for you sometimes and I do try to you know get things that you can still get and I am trying very hard to shop sales shop more mainstream I do you know buy a few extra type things like my jeans and stuff and um, some shoes are higher end, but I am trying to be a lot of, you know, more mainstream. So I'll be right back with my outfit of the day. Okay, so here is that outfit. The only thing I did different is I just kept on, um, I have on a black like bralette. It's kind of like a long line one that I bought from Target. I really like it. It's got a lot of support, so I'll put a link to it down below. Um, this is a top that I bought last year from Oliver, and it is the Rails. So it is the nicest, I just had it dry cleaned. It's the nicest denim shirt. I love it because I'm not, I don't like a bulky denim shirt. So this one is perfect. 
And then this is an old jean skirt you guys probably remember from Oliver. I think everything I got on is from Oliver. This is a McGuire denim skirt. And then this is my good old below the belt, bell bottom blues belt. And let me back up. Okay, and these are the shoes. I think you guys probably remember them. I just bought them probably a month or so ago from Dillard's. And this is actually the first time I'm wearing them. And my legs are so white and crazy, hideous looking, but I am trying to wait out the six weeks before I do anything for my IPL. So please ignore my white nappy legs. <laughs> but um, so this is the look. And I just love it. I think it's, and it's so different for me. And I realized I did not have um, accessories on. I just didn't have rings on. So I went and put on my rings that I love, that my parents gave me for Christmas. And I want to get one of Lisa Eldridge's rings. I have been, I, I even looked at them with my mom and I think I've decided which one. I was just kind of waiting and um, making sure that I wanted to get it and not something else. I was looking at another ring that from Hitchcock Madrona. I was trying to decide between the two, but I think I decided I'm gonna get one of Lisa's and um, at least first. <laughs> and um, so I didn't put any earrings on because my hair, like I said, I just let it dry in a bun last night and just clipped it back. And um, I've got on my name necklace that I just haven't taken off. I love this. And I've got on OPI bubble bath, still letting my nails grow out. And um, again, I'm sorry for the lighting. And I think that's it. Um, I will probably put on a little bit of the Arizona fragrance. That's been the one I really like lately. So I hope you enjoyed this. And um, I will see you, if not before, I'll see you here on Friday. Bye-bye.